Hello everybody, it's Alison. Um, today I'm going to do a, another short video for improving your balance um, and it's the tightrope walk. Um, so if you are a little bit unsure of your balance then please take it nice and steady and as always if you're not feeling 100% today if you're feeling unwell if you're feeling a little bit wobbly on your feet then don't do this particular exercise today save it for a day when you are feeling pretty good um so the exercise today you're going to be stood up you will need some support so ideally something like your work top because what i'm looking for is a, a fairly continuous support so something like your work top or um, your dining room table top, or even your wall if you're in, um, not impeded by anything on, on your wall. Today I'm gonna to use my radiator. Um, Jules is kicking around somewhere, and I just wanted to mention something very, very quickly about pets. Um, so in some of my videos, Jules is, is moving around. Um, you might have pets at home. You might have a cat or a dog or, or whatever. So if your pets are around you when you are exercising especially when you're doing balance then you might just want to think about that if your cat dog whatever it is um, has a tendency to move around your feet when you are moving around then obviously that can be dangerous and it can potentially lead to a fall so if you are uncertain then the best thing to do is probably to just put your pet out of the way whilst you are practicing your exercises and especially when you're practicing balance um, there's enough going on you've got to concentrate enough when you are doing your balance exercises without having to worry about your pet who might be moving around your feet so it's just something to, to, to bear in mind um, I think that's about it for the moment so I'm going to move to the to my towards my radiator and we'll, we'll start talking a, a little bit about this next exercise heel toe walk okay <clears throat> so heel toe walk is a little bit like walking on a tightrope you have all seen people walking on a tightrope I'm not going to expect you to do that today <laughs> you'd be pleased to know however I just want you to have that analogy in your head because when we are walking in this particular um, exercise, you have to try and imagine that your feet are in a perfect straight line as if you are walking on a tightrope. Posture. So we're going to try and stand up nice and tall. We're going to be thinking out about our posture throughout this little, this little drill that we're about to do. I'm going to turn side on so that you can see my feet. You've got your support. So as I say, I'm going to use my, my radiator. It gives me room ahead of me, about five or six steps. If I need to, I can use my support just to, as a bit of reassurance. But I'm not going to lean too much on my support, and I don't want to lean away from my support. I'm thinking about my posture the whole time. So we're going to stand up nice and tall, one hand resting on your support, and we're going to place a foot, so a heel in line with the toes of your other foot. So that analogy of standing on a tightrope, thinking of our posture. So we're gonna look straight ahead. We're gonna fix on something that isn't going to move. If you fix on something that is going to move, then you're gonna fall over. Okay, so we're gonna look at straight ahead, lift our chest, shoulders back. And then we're going to transfer our weight over to our front foot, allowing us space to bring our back foot round to the front. So we're going to land on our heel, roll to our toes, transfer the weight, allowing us to move, to walk forwards in that straight line, keeping that posture, just moving that hand along your support as you are transferring that weight heel to toe. Okay, so just steady then and just come back to the to the start position and give your legs a little bit of a shake. So we're going to try that again. We're going to speed it up just fractionally. We're aiming for a nice, smooth, continuous movement. I'm going to start over here. So again, you can see, so nice and tall, set yourself with your support, bring that foot round so it's in line with your back leg, heel, toe, transfer your weight. So nice and smooth, keeping your head up, keep your shoulders back, and back to the start. Okay, 
So we're going to try that again. I'm just going to show you from, from front on so that you can see. So I'm again just thinking about my posture, bringing my foot in line with my back leg, transferring my weight. And I'm just going to end there just for the moment. So it's a balance exercise. So you may feel a little bit unsteady. That is perfectly normal. You can practice this whilst you're boiling your kettle and you're holding on to your worktop. Practice, practice, practice improves your balance. If you've done that a few times and you're thinking, I'm okay here, and you want to add a level of difficulty, now this is entirely optional, you can go backwards as well. So once you've done your five or six steps forward, so heel toe, walking forward, thinking about your posture, nice and controlled, but nice and smooth. Once you've come to the end of your support, try without turning your head to go backwards. Again, still maintaining that heel toe, trying to maintain that nice straight line. And you're not leaning over onto your support, you're not leaning away from your support. So you can try that several times, just going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. If you're not quite ready to do that tightrope walk going backwards, then just go forwards. Once you get to the end of your support, take your time, nice and steady, turn around 180 degrees, and do those five or six steps again going forwards and just practice that. And as you become more confident and you become a little bit better with your balance, then try doing the backwards part as well. If you've been out for a walk, you've been able to enjoy the sunshine and you're doing a little bit of exercise and you've had a little walk around the block, when you get home, try that little drill, that little tightrope walk forwards, tightrope walk back. If you're unable to get out and about, and you've done some of my other exercise videos, then just tag this one onto the end, just as a little bit of practice. And as I say, if you can continue just to practice that throughout the day, when you, when you boil your kettle, when you wait for the pan to boil, when you're waiting for the microwave to ping, just those few minutes every single day, and you'll certainly improve your balance. So I hope you enjoyed that little practice. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you again soon.